Fields' truck. As a result, the resentful Don decided to put a stop to his publication, The Pit Dog Report, and expressed his feelings in an open letter which was published in the No. 5 6, 1972 issue of The Pit Dog Report. It went something like this, Dear Fanciers, by now I'm sure most of you have heard about my dog General, if not this is what happened. My dog was going into Freddie Jones's Black Bart, a two-time winner. It was one of the best shows I have ever seen, maybe it was because my dog won, but Bart wasn't just a good dog, he was a great dog, and only a greater dog could have ever won over him. Roland Fontenot conditioned and handled my dog and did a very good job. At 50 minutes Freddy did the sportsman-like thing to do. I had the feeling that I had the best 42 to 43 pounds dog in the world, and that my friend was a great feeling. I have a yard full of the same blood but General was the best. The thing I had in my mind on the way home, was how I could breed the same blood and get one even better than General. This is all part of the game, we won't settle for the best, we always want something better. I have worked hard trying to get this magazine to build. November the 1st was my last day at work. I had planned to put all my time in on the magazine and try and get it out on a regular basis. I had hopes of a stud book to go with the magazine and with the championship certificates. Selling a few dogs, a mill, or two, I would be able to keep what I have always wanted to do. General was stolen out of the truck I was driven between 7 p.m. Sunday and 7.30 a.m. Monday the day after the show. I have spent all I won trying to get him back, and have had no luck. It's hard to enjoy the game when someone steals your dog because they have not been able to get anything as good. This has taken all of the interest out of me to carry on with the pit dog report. If, or when, I get general returned to me, I will continue and try to build this magazine, but now the interest is just not here. I hope you will see fit not to blame me but to blame the ones that stole my dog and put a stop to our magazine. Your friend in the game, Don Mayfield, this story and all the information on here are for entertainment purposes, fictional, only and used confidential. We do not in any way condone to any animal cruelty or illegal activities. This video and all the other videos does not, nor intends to violate the 1976 Animal Welfare Act. This channel in no way promotes or takes part in any illegal activity. Thanks for watching.